with over 19 different toolpaths, Hypermill's 3D machining has all the features you will need to make them complex parts. So let's find out from the experts about all these different features in 3D machining. My name is John Shaw. I work for OpenMind Technologies in the UK and I'm the Principal Applications Engineer. The core values of Hypermill are all about getting a perfect precise and safe toolpath out of Hypermill. So everything from the 3D to the five axis is applied with the same technology. Most of what people are actually doing in Hypermill is three axis. Um, there's some three plus two positional and some five axis only when you need to. And all of the really nice, beautiful parts that we make are all using the 3D toolpaths available to all of our customers. Hypermill historically is, is big in the mold tool industry and there's certain values in the mold tool industry that match what we're trying to do. So again, safety, everything's back to safety. Um, so irrelevant of your skill, knowledge, experience, you can't just crash a tool into Hypermill, into a model with Hypermill, it doesn't happen. But also surface finishes is absolutely paramount. So we're applying the best possible tool paths with the be best possible point distribution to get the best surface finish. There's actually 19 3D toolpaths in Hypermill alongside lots of 2D and, and 5 axis and drilling. So there is a toolpath for every application. 19 is a big number. If I was going to ask someone to learn 19 different toolpaths, they'd probably you know, be a bit nervous. So Hypermill toolpaths all follow the same flow, the same structure, and they're actually replaceable with each other. So you would be really, you know, my favorite is profile finishing. That's what I'm going to use. But actually you might find that on the first geometry was fine and the next one it's not kind of the right result i wanted so you can simply just replace that with all the information you've already predefined into something more suitable so it covers every kind of geometry traditionally with hypermoo we're actually calculating the toolpaths across a mesh um, this is done for safety reasons we have technology now called high precision surface mode where we can actually generate points from the true mathematical surface. So we still have the safety net of using a mesh, but now we can get the best possible point distribution for the area trying to machine. So unmatched quality in terms of cam tool pass. Safety is paramount with Hypermill. And in our free axis tool paths, we take just as much care as any other tool path. We want to get a virtual representation of the physical tool. So when we have deep cavities, long tool builds, we actually define the tool, maybe the extension, the holder, and these are generated just for a step model, plus the spindle of the machine as well. So as you calculate the tool path, it's checking and avoiding those areas. So you can't get to a simulation scenario and see my holders hit my stock because we're already taking care of that. 3D toolpaths are really easy to generate in Hypermill. We're not generating lots of boundaries, lots of curves. We're not having to recreate faces. You pick the face you want to machine and you press calculate and it generates a toolpath for it. When we come to families of parts, it's particularly useful in terms of, you know, whenever I see a blue face, I need to apply strategy A, the green face is strategy B, which means that actually programming and saving those routines saves you a lot of time. With the crown that we machined um, in collaboration with Mazo, really that was using a lot of 3D toolpaths. So the 3D roughing was used obviously to remove a lot of material. We have some really nice rest roughing technology in there. So we're looking at really minimum sizes. So conventionally you may find doing a lot of roughing, you start with the biggest tool and you work your way down. The second tool might be starting to machine areas where it really doesn't need to be used. So with Hypermill, it's only going to machine optimised amounts of material. So it won't just remove a micron here and a micron there. So that got machining time down. In terms of the actual surface finish that we were able to generate, we used a collaboration of smooth overlap, high precision surface mode, soft blending as well to, to really get the best possible surface finish for the crown and hopefully you can see that. The 3D technology available in Hypermill is market leading. It's going to give you the best combination of both machining time and surface finish quality.